Finally, a light switch combined with the popular and favorite lever wire connector. Stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Are you still using these old school light switches, but yet you love using these lever Wago wire connectors? But what if I tell you that finally Leviton has created something very genius and they combine these two together to make it a lot easier for DIYers to use when installing light switches. So Leviton did come out with these new light switches. It's called the Leviton Decora Edge. One is for a single pole switch. The other one is for a three-way switch. And they made one also for an outlet for a 15 amp as well. If you're interested, I made a video specifically on this outlet. Check out this video right here after you finish watching this video. So just to let you know, I'm not sponsored by Leviton. I used my own money to buy these so we can create this video today. And let's check out what's inside. Looking at this new three-way switch, comparing to the old school three-way switch, you can tell that everything is internal on this one. You don't have to worry about wire touching any terminals, creating a short, a spark, an arc, or anything like that. It is very DIY friendly. If you look at the popular Wago 221 wire connectors, very easy to use. Just insert your wire, close it off. It has the same concept with these ones right here. All you gotta do is open these up, insert the wire from the background, Boom, boom, and you are done. Look at the back of these switches. You can tell that there are test areas right there to test for voltage, which is a pretty cool feature. Now this is very different from backstabbing. Backstabbing is you put the wire through these little holes and that's it. This one, in order for you to put the wire in, you can't just put it in like that. You have to lift this lever up and insert it in close it up and it's very, very secured. When I made a video on this Leviton Decora Edge Outlet, I used some weights to figure out how much pounds it can actually go before the wire comes loose. And check out this clip, it reached up to 30 pounds before failing. That's pretty awesome that this can hold a lot of weight. So you don't have to worry about it being, you know, taken out even by just hand force or even just by pulling your hands, you won't have to worry about that coming loose. Now to loosen it, just lift up the lever again and it'll come out that easy. To show you how fast and easy you can install these Leviton Decor Edge switches, I have made a prototype right here. I'm gonna just take this out. Let's go time how fast I can install this by using this timer. Let's go install this. I have my pigtail ready for the ground. So given all the wires are stripped already, I have my pigtail ready and let's press start. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up two levers, the ground, put my pigtail for the ground, insert the ground, backs on. That's it. Now you're ready to just put it and connect it to the J-Box. Now given my J-Box is actually broken, this is just a mock-up. So there you have it. Everything's nice connected. Let's check out the back. So friends, sorry to interrupt, but if you're finding this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up down below. Share this with your friends and family so we can help more people out. With that being said, thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. So being a single pole switch, it doesn't really matter where these wires go, but if it was the three-way switch, it definitely matters where the line and the load goes on this one. If you look closely onto where the wires are going in, there are no exposed wires. I really like the feature that Leviton put on this edge. It's on the very edge of this one where you can use your wire and gauge how much you need to strip on your wires, which is pretty cool and kind of out of the way. Very good design from Leviton. A great advantage of this Leviton Decor Edge, so let's just say you have really short wires and you don't want to pigtail anything. Pigtail means that, for example, what I did with this ground wire, I took another piece of wire and pigtailed it to the main ground wire where everyone's all meeting at. If you don't want to do that and you have really short wires, um, this is the great way to do it because you can easily just reach each one of these ports without doing that. Again, I highly suggest you do pigtail just so that you can have that extra room, extra freeways for this to actually move around the box. It's great for shorter wires. So some of the cool features that these switches have is that on the edges, they kind of go like puzzles. 
like so. so let's for example you want to use a outlet and a switch together notice how they fit like a puzzle so you can always have it nice and aligned if you do put this side by side so that's a pretty awesome feature that Leviton did on these switches also if you have excess like that see how it goes over the box you can actually just snap this out all you got to do is bend this back and forth and this will snap off this excess lip at the top now it works for the outlet and the switch as well. But this new Leviton Decor Edge switches and outlets are pretty awesome in my honest opinion. They're very DIY friendly, especially if you have very little knowledge on electrical and you just wanna replace your old switches or old outlets with these. Rated up to 15 amps, they don't have 20 amps yet. I think Leviton is on the forefront when it comes to improving these outlets and switches and making it easier for your everyday DIYer. Now, now if you're interested on these switches right here, I do have an affiliate link on there. I'll leave it on the description down below. Check that out if you're interested. Also, I made a separate video on the Decor Edge outlet and I made a test on how much pull force you, it actually can withstand before that wire comes out of the connector. So if you're interested on that video, check out that video right here after you see this one and you'll be surprised how much weight this can actually hold. Zip tied it to this bar and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this piece of wire right onto where the connections are and at the end of this is a little hook. Now we're gonna be attaching weights onto this hook and we're gonna figure out how much it can withstand before the connection pretty much comes off. There you have it, we have the wire connected and we have the little hook that we're gonna attach the weight. What I have here is five pounds increments. Another five pounds. Okay, so that's 10 pounds. Let's add another five pounds. So far it's holding with the 25 pound weight. Let's see if it holds on. There we go. And that's pretty amazing. Okay, so I'm just curious. I'm gonna keep stacking. Put five. It's holding. Another five. 35 pounds, it pretty much failed. So I don't know why would you put that much weight on a single connection like that, but it's for your information. Once again, friends, I do appreciate all the love and support that you continue to give me. We finally reached 300,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. That is, means so much to me. You don't even know. So, And I thank you each and every one of you who continue to support the channel. And friends, if you find this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.